I suggest starting with a simple one. Prepare delicious pasta for me. Easy, it'll be done. I can cook pasta. But I can't. But never mind, I'll think of something. It seems to be done quite simply. All you need to do is pull the spaghetti in boiling water. Only they're too long for this pot. We need to shove them deeper. The easiest way to do this, of course, is with your hands. Ah! How hot! My poor hands! Who does that? You just need to spread the spaghetti around the perimeter of the pen. They will cook and gradually fall into the water themselves. It's very simple. Awesome. Spaghetti! Oh, what on. kind of store-bought stuff is this anyway? Oh no! The best spaghetti what? is spaghetti made with your own hands. In my restaurant, I serve only such pasta. Yeah! In fact, there is nothing complicated about it. The main thing is to love your job. Treat cooking spaghetti with a soul. So I'm going to do everything from the beginning to the end on my own. Let's make some dough. And then cook some spaghetti from it. Okay. And to make it an unusual black color, I'll add a little food coloring. The dough is ready. Now we need to be properly made. Like that. Let's time it. Oh, it's too okay. long. What? In fact, no. everything can be done much easier. What? Is that all? See? It's not long at all. But from such a deal, we'll have unrealistically delicious spaghetti. So, awesome. you need to roll out the dough thoroughly. Let's do it. And then, cut it into thin strips with a special knife. See? Now you can throw it in a saucepan. Ta-da! Okay. A couple of minutes and the best spaghetti in your life is ready. It's time to fry the octopuses. They will add sophistication to the pasta. It looks very expensive. Granny, what are you doing? Ketchup is disgusting. I like it. Oh no! What's going on here? Tom, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the noodles out of the pot! And it doesn't want to fall into the plate in any way! Don't worry, you just overdid the spaghetti a little. Okay. And what do I do now? Right! I'm done with spaghetti! There's a way to make pasta much faster and tastier! To do this, you need a box of Korean Pororo noodles. It's not just delicious, but also so bright! Oh, what a mess. Oh, man. You're just jealous of me. But Kay will definitely pasta. choose my pasta. Ooh, come on! Well, well. I think I'll start with these black spaghetti. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's what? see. Uh, how oh. disgusting! <laughs> Who eats this at all? The okay. portion from the center looks much more ordinary. Spaghetti with ketchup, of course, I love, but... Um, it's too easy. Although it's pretty delicious. Okay. And now it's time for Pororo noodles! Let's see what it tastes like. The main thing is so bright! Wait, why is it so spicy? What a horror! <laughs> but it was so cool! I love spicy! So, Tom, congratulations on your victory! This time, make me delicious cacao. What? what are you waiting for? Hey. It's time to start! It will be done. Cool. I think I can handle it. Everything will be okay. perfect. Of course, you need to start with milk. It needs to be poured into a saucepan so that it gradually warms up. You need to pour cacao into it next and stir it all slowly. I'll resort to the secret ingredient and add some chocolate to the cacao. Then it will become much more delicious. That is my secret. Well, is it time to pour a drink into a mug? It is best to do this with a ladle. That way you definitely won't spill anything past the mug. 
How lovely. Also, it smells incredibly delicious. Yeah, it stinks all over the room. Grandma, your recipe is certainly not the worst, but why did you stop so early? What about the cream? Cream, by the way, will be much tastier if you whip it yourself. Let's do it. So, I pour it into a bowl. And I'm gonna mix it. Perfect. Let's move on. Come on! I'll decorate your cow with the resulting cream. But that's not all. It will look even more appetizing okay. if I put some marshmallows on top of the cream. Let's do it. Oh, it's perfect now. Why suffer so much? You can just use whipped cream. But I also like the idea of marshmallows. So I'll decorate cacao with marshmallows. But this is not the end. Why not add Oreo cookies? They're so nice. Okay. And they look perfect cool. there. Or for example, M&M candies. Or even better, add everything. And of course, do not forget about the chocolate syrup. That's what I like. Kay will definitely be thrilled. Let's see. Tom, your cacao looks really cool. I think I'll start with it. It's just unrealistically delicious. I hope the next candidates will be not worse. Next, I'll try cacao from my beloved grandmother. Grandma, I'm sorry, but Tom turned out better. The last candidate left. Mm, I really like this cacao too, but which one should I choose? I think I like Tom's version a lot. Now, I want you to make me chips. I hope you can do it. Chips? It'll be done. We'll see who's the winner. How are chips made in general? I'm just used to eating them, not cooking them. Tom, you need to peel the potatoes first. This is done very simply with the help of a special device. Now, each potato needs to be cut into thin slices so that it looks like real chips. Look how perfect they are. I'll do the rest of the potatoes now. And now you can fry them. The main okay. thing is not to spare the oil. Then the chips will turn out more crispy. I got everything! Now I'll make my better chips! She has never tried anything like this before! It turns out that potatoes can be peeled with an ordinary knife! Oh, cool! Tom, what are you doing? Stop littering! Uh, I think I went a little overboard. But I cleaned out everything! Well, now my favorite part. Potatoes need to be cut into thin slices. I also remember it's important not to spare the oil. In my opinion, there's quite a lot of it in my frying pan. It's time to dump the potatoes there. Tom, there's even too much oil. Therefore, it splashes in different directions. Yeah, you don't know how to cook chips. But I'll make real nachos for Kate. To do this, take a corn tortilla and cut it into identical triangles. <laughs> then you need to pour a little oil into a frying pan and spread these triangles on it. They will fry and turn into real nachos. Perfect. You can pull them out. They turn out just yeah. amazing. Now the nachos need to be spread out beautifully on a plate. As a sauce, we can use some cheese. So nachos will be even better. And it'll also be cool to add a little lime. Let's cut it. I've got it! How nice and beautiful it turned out! Perfect. I hope Kate likes it. Wait, where did the smell of burn coming from? Tom, what have you done? 
Oh, I just juke my mind off chips for a second. Oh, now I have to give Kate this overcooked ambers. Oh, don't be upset. Maybe okay. she'll like it. I know what can help me. If you sprinkle some cheese seasoning on the chips, Kate won't even know that I overcooked them a little. Perfect. Hmm, I did it. I don't know about that. Come on! Well, well, everything looks very cool. Tom, according to tradition, I'll start with your dish. Ugh, disgusting! It's like I'm eating charcoal with cheese powder! Horrible! I wonder what the chef has prepared. To be honest, I've never tried real nachos before. Um, apparently I'm not a fan. I don't really like them. Grandma, there's only one version left to try. Mmm, how delicious! Grandma, I'm loving it. You win this round. Perfect. What does my granddaughter want? I want ice cream. I know such a recipe. It's fried ice cream. Hmm. To get the ice cream of the desired consistency, it needs to be finely chopped into pieces. Um, it's easy. Grandma, and I can do that too. Cheat fish, easiest pie. Watch your nice, young lady. And don't throw food around the kitchen. Okay. That's what happens when amateurs get to work. No, that's not good. I'll make it according to the original recipe. Okay. You need to pour the milk and cream on a flat surface. Cut any berries. I have strawberries. And add to the milk base. Now you can chop everything well. When the mass hardens, you can cut it and twist it into rolls. I can do that too. Cut and twist. Nothing complicated. Now I'll put it in a glass and decorate it. I'll add whipped cream. It looks a little pale. I'll decorate it with rainbow skittles. A sugar straw for beauty and Oreo cookies. Now grandma will also cut her ice cream into pieces. Awesome! Perfect, let's put it inside. I'll pour strawberry sauce on them. Grandma, you're doing it wrong. And the sauce is also useful to me. And also put marmalade berries on top. And I'll also put some berries. Strawberries and then blueberries. I'll decorate everything with sprinkles. Ta-da! Perfect! Awesome! <laughs> How terrible. Here, Jane, watch and learn. You can decorate ice cream with lemon zest. The sour taste of lemon will be perfectly combined with the sweetness of ice cream. Lemon peel can be used to make an unusual decor. Yes! Add a little ice to keep the ice cream shape in longer. Wow! And for serving, as in the most expensive wow. restaurants, I will use dry ice. I'll add some smoke and put it under the lid. Perfect. Yeah. Voila! What a beauty came out from the chef! Awesome. Incredible! Yeah, grandma's ice cream doesn't look so impressive. There are so many ingredients in a cup from my sister. But let's see what kind of ice cream baby Gloria will like the most. I want this one. Mmm, there's strawberries and cream. Very tasty. Um, what a fuck. What's there? That's just what I wanted. How much smoke? Ugh. Mmm, uh, sour. It looks strange. Doesn't taste very good either. You. No. I choose this one. Yeah. Hooray! This is mine. Oh. Grandma, Gloria is asking to eat. I want a lollipop. Here's such a multicolor one. All right. All oh, right. Grandma can see well, but okay. I used to do something like that. You need to boil the caramel. To do this, take sugar and add it to the water. And now you need to stir it all the time. Do you know the recipe too, Emma? Then repeat. <laughs> They're always fighting. So it seems that nothing is complicated. Sugar and water. Put it in a saucepan. Okay. Oh. Let's mix it. 
You need to check the temperature of the caramel before pouring into the molds. Otherwise, it may crack. Okay. Perfect. Now you can distribute it into molds. Add rainbow shades as Gloria has asked. Yeah, Grandma, watch and learn. Precisely. Gloria wanted a colorful lollipop. Yes, I have a natural dye. Grandma, you're so strong! Grandma is also not capable of that. Here, now you can pour it into molds. I will insert the sticks before the caramel is frozen. So, the caramel has frozen. Now you can take out the lollipops. Whoa! Grandma likes it! I'll twist the caramel into one of these bundles. And now I'll twist it into a large lollipop. Just like that. Perfect. Wow! Oh, it smells like something burnt! This is my caramel! It burned down! Granddaughter, you're such a slop! What should I do? Well, I can sculpt too. My sister has jars of colorful plasticine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make the sausages out of them and twist them into a thin tourniquet, as Emma did. I'll get a rainbow lollipop too. Um, it's an edible, true, but beautiful. Everything is ready. Perfect. What will you choose, Gloria? Candy from grandma? A plasticine miracle from your sister? Or candy from the chef? What? I want, I want, I want this. Mm -hmm. It looks normal. Mm, what a strange taste it has. Oh. I'll try this one. Strange, it smells like my plasticine. I'll try. Yeah, this is my plasticine. Who are my plasticine jars? Oh, what a beauty! <gasps> Very sweet and beautiful! I choose this one! Hooray! I've cooked this! And now I want to eat chips! Yeah, this is a simple dish to prepare! Sister Jane, the chef and grandma enthusiastically set to work! That's it! And now I'll cut the potatoes into thin circles. Hey, I don't have such a thing. And what should I cut with? We need to find something suitable. Um, um. Oh, found it! My comb. What a nightmare. And what? Just look at how beautiful the slices have turned out. <laughs> no, Jane. I'll make beautiful chips. Okay. Look what kind of device I ordered for myself. With it, you can cut potatoes into spirals. Impale on sticks. And that's what will come out. Big deal. Grandma is better the old-fashioned way. Fry potatoes in a frying pan. She asked for chips, not fried potatoes. And I'll cook spirals in a dip fryer. Tip fryer? I'll do that too! Finally, everything is ready. It only remains to serve it beautifully. With paprika and salt. Granny is gonna do that too. And my trick is to pour more ketchup. All you need is salt. Here, granddaughter, eat. Grandma's chips smell so delicious. The sister chips also look good. But the chips from the chef are just gorgeous. <laughs> Where should I start? What is this? So much ketchup. All right, all Jane probably right, cooked right. it. She loves ketchup. Okay. It's okay, you can eat it. Oh. Is that fried potatoes? Mm, not at all what I wanted. Ew. Wow, how cool. Oh. They taste amazing. Delicious. I choose them. Yeah, I have a one. Give me glasses here. I want a 
spelling ed. Will you make one? Let's see. Yeah, I will. I'm ready. Oh, I'd love to make this donut for you. First, I'll pour the dough into this donut maker. Okay, I'll fill in all the spots. That's it. Perfect. Now I'll close it. And wait a little. And I'll make the perfect rainbow donuts. Because simple donuts are so boring. Mine will be the most rosy, the most fun, and of course the most delicious. I'll definitely win this challenge. Oh, what a good fellow you are. That's awesome. You will succeed. But what about you? Of course, black donuts are the tastiest, but something is missing. Of course, a delicious sauce. Hand, help me with this. Come on. Okay. Oh, what a nightmare! I'm afraid of it! Give me the bowl here. Okay. Now I have a place to pour strawberry sauce in. And now, I'll use this. It'll be more convenient to decorate donuts this way. That's what I need. We need to cheer them up. Oh, what is it? What is this? It's just strawberry sauce. Oh, you scared me. That was ridiculous. Now I'll decorate my donuts with sauce and most delicious icing. The decoration is just brilliant. They're beautiful and delicious. Some scary ones. And my beautiful donuts are ready. I'll spread them out and sprinkle with powdered sugar. This is so classic. Very tasty recipe. Yes, this is what you need. Look. Very good. Looks good. And look at my donuts. My most rosy ones. Very nice donuts. Just a sight. I want to sprinkle them with sprinkles. It doesn't open. What a tight lid. Open! Oh, oh no! Oops. <laughs> okay, I'll sprinkle them like this. Yeah, this combination is the most delicious. Okay, dear. Eat it. How delicious! This is a very interesting donut. And it's funny. I'll try it. Hmm, it's quite tasty. So beautiful. I like it. What you need. And these? Hmm? So simple. Hmm, I think I'll try the next one. Wow. These are rainbow donuts. They smell so good. Hmm. How delicious. All the donuts turn out to be good, but which ones to choose? Of course, these ones. I'm very happy. How do you open this? I want pasta. Prepare it for me. It's like boiling water. So, I will quickly prepare the most delicious pasta. That's almost it. Hmm. Hmm. What do I have here? Probably hot. Hmm. And over here. Now you're going to help me find out if the water has boiled. No! Hmm. Thanks. I see it is boiled. And are you burnt? No? It was very hot. So the water is ready. <laughs> what are you going to do? I think I'll make the pasta myself. Oh, I'm covered in flour. <laughs> but it's okay. It's even a bit of fun. That's better. I'll put the flour on a board. And now I'll make real handmade pasta. Be sure to add eggs, salt. Now I'm going to knead this dough. It's not easy, of course, but it'll be very tasty. I will have the most unusual pasta. I'll make individual pieces and, of course, I'm going to add something extra. I will add paints. That's it. I'll have pasta in all colors of the rainbow. The most beautiful lilac pasta. Now I will form a piece. I'll have several of these. And now I will cut them into small pieces and, of course, use a grater. This will give them shape. 
Well, the pasta goes into the pan. You're so good. What a smart girl. So my pasta is quite ready. Then you probably need to add some ketchup. Oh, oh, uh, I, I can't see anything. My glasses. Oh, is it ketchup after all? Or not ketchup? We need to squeeze out more. Grandma, let me help you. We need to open it. Hold it. Oh, oh, oh I think I'm all smeared in ketchup. Oh, uh, yeah, it's definitely ketchup. Oops. We need to be more careful. Don't laugh. I made my pasta. Oh, oops. Actually, much better this way. <laughs> it's already done. Now into the plate. Something is clearly missing. And to me. Now we'll make this pasta prettier. Cuttlefish ink is what I need. Black has never heard before. I will make my pasta. Awesome. Oh, what a black, gloomy, beautiful pasta. Now that's what it needs. The only thing it lacks is red. Adding some ketchup. I'll pour it on top. So beautiful, bud. It will be even better with the eyes. What is it? Oh, she's like always. I got such a rainbow pasta. I just want to eat it. Hooray! Try it, Jill. Um, this is a strange dish. Need to try it, but honestly, I don't want to. It doesn't look delicious. Ugh, it's disgusting. Ugh. And I want this pasta. Mmm, that's delicious. Okay. I would love to eat this pasta. Oh, this is what I need. It's so beautiful. Mmm, I love it. That's the winner. Hooray. There it is. I've beaten you guys. We need to prepare. I want a drink. Delicious and sweet. Hint, okay. are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, I almost fell. What is there? Oh, got that. Hey. Should I start? Please. Okay. okay. So, I will take very beautiful but sour candies. They will help me to implement my idea. So, I'm going to put them in the molds. There'll be a multicolored miracle. I took them because they're so beautiful. Oh, um, they're over. Well, okay. The mitten in place. And I'll put them in the oven. It'll be necessary to warm them up a little. That's it. And now it's time to cool my dish. I'm going to pull it out of the mold. What a beauty turned out. Oh, yeah. Gorgeous goes, but pretty sour. Now I'll take M&M's. And of course, sort them by color. It'll be even more beautiful this way. Huh? How delicious it is! I'll add M&M's to the drink and of course fill it with Sprite. What a delicious cocktail! It'll be even tastier with cream. It's very cool. With sprinkles, it's going to be delicious. And beautiful! And tiny straws. It's something incredible. I will make my granddaughter a very healthy celery cocktail. I'll take the whole one. I think I can do it. Oh, come on. It's disgusting. She'll probably won't like it. Well, my most healthy cocktail for my granddaughter is ready. Beautiful and so many vitamins. Top it with a spring of celery and a straw. It's very cool. No. no. Hand a glass. I'll take a proper glass and, of course, smear with strawberry syrup. Hmm, what should I pour here? Perhaps it'll be Sprite. Of course, I'll add the dye. And stir it all with the right straw. Hand help. Okay. Oh, you scared me again! Once they take it away! 
Hand, hurry up. <laughs> Super thanks, hand. Cream is just right. It is very similar to brains, but for the best effect, I'll pour red syrup. And put an eye and a spider on top. That's delicious. Perfect. <laughs> Everyone has different tastes. Try mine! How beautiful! I'll try this cocktail. Oh, it's very good! And delicious! Mm -hmm. And this one? <laughs> I won't even try this one. No. I'll try this. How oh, delicious! Delicious! An edible glass? Oh, it's sour! But the drink is very tasty. It's the winner! I'll have another one. <laughs> Hooray! I won again! I'm so glad! <gasps> what is it this time? Now I want a salad. Like this, with crackers. Yes, of course. No problem. I got you. I'll take the lettuce leaves and be sure to tear them up. Oh, uh, oh! What are you offering me? Oh, thanks, but don't play like that anymore. I need these green leaves. They're so healthy, delicious. It'll be a wonderful salad. And this is wonderful meat. It also needs to be cut into pieces just right for a salad. Now I will arrange it nicely. I'm making Caesar salad, so I'm going to need some tomatoes. There are not enough crackers yet. Mm -hmm. Crackers are what you need for such a wonderful salad. A little more cheese for full taste. Very wonderful! I'm ready now! And you? And I'm in the middle of everything! I'll make use of such buddy molds! I'll cut out figures from cucumbers, radish, and pepper! Yeah, it's so beautiful! And I'll put them on sticks! I'm going to have a salad kebab! Just right! How beautiful! I'd rather not ask you. Yeah! How fun! Now I'll make a bouquet. It turned out to be a wonderful, delicious salad bouquet. And the smell… <laughs> Super! <laughs> it's not funny at all. Oh, red pepper. It's just right. I'll cut you now. You need to remove the seeds and put a salad instead. I'll cut the cucumber into slices. I love knives. And I'll make a very beautiful funny face that bites. Maybe. Beautifully put salad monsters on a plate. I have everything ready. Hooray! So much food! Oh, sticks! An interesting salad. To be honest, it's not very tasty. What else would I eat? What kind of faces are these? What's that black thing, huh? Uh, it's an olive! It tastes disgusting! What kind of salad is this? Oh yeah! That's it! This is the winner! Oh, I've won! I'm a great cook! What does my grandson want? French fries! Great! I'll cook the most delicious potatoes! First, you need to pour the oil into the pan. And now cut the potatoes and fry them properly. Grandma, it doesn't really look like french fries. <laughs> For the best. <laughs> then I'll win this round. <laughs> so, I'm going to peel the potatoes. Oh, um, it didn't work out very well. We need a special oh. peeler. Yes! Now it's going to work. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's how you need to cut potatoes. One, two, and you're done. <laughs> and no one makes fries in a frying pan. After all, this is a deep fryer. We put potatoes and fry it in oil. There we go. Just look at this golden crust. Great. Oh, where are my potatoes? Did I peel it all off? What do I do? 
Don't worry, dear. But what potatoes are without sauce? Ketchup is not for me. I'm the chef. And all the best chefs in the world cook tomato paste on their own. Well, here's a masterpiece. Perfect french fries. Everyone has already fried the potatoes and I have these skins. What do I do? I know. Why suffer if you can just order delivery? And here are the potatoes. Oh. Mm, homemade potatoes. French fries from the chef. Wow, so many delicious things. Except for this one. Mm, and these potatoes look delicious. I'll try it. Oh, how spicy! I don't want spicy. What do we have here? Mmm, delicious. I like these french fries. Hooray, I won! That's it. So, so, what are we cooking now? I want scrambled eggs. Easy. Every dish should be cooked with love. Therefore, my scrambled eggs will be in the shape of a heart. You need to fry the sausages and then break the egg. It turned out just wonderful. Awesome! The bigger the fire, the faster it gets fried, right? The stove to the maximum, and now the egg. Oh, um, the shell has fallen. Maybe it'll be unnoticeable. It's even better this way. No, you can still see the shell. We need to come up with something. I'll mix it up. Oh, honey, something's obviously gone wrong. Then I'll add milk. Now you definitely can't see anything. Watch and learn. This is how real chefs cook. Down with a frying pan, we're going to need a toaster. I'll chop the onion and garlic. Then an avocado. I'll mix it all together. Great. And now I'll use a blender. It turned out great. We need to spread it on the toast. Like that. Now it's the egg time. One will be quite enough. I'll break it into a bowl. And put the bowl in a saucepan with boiling water. That's what a wonderful egg I got. It remains only to serve the dish beautifully. Amazing! The final touch. Like that. Wow, it turned out to be really cool. I need to serve a dish too. Ketchup and mussels will do. Honey, are you sure? Ready? We'll see, we'll see. It doesn't look good. Wow, a heart. Grandma, this fried egg is definitely yours. Down with a fork. I want to take it with my hands. Mmm, delicious. And what do we have here? It looks interesting. And the taste? Mmm, yeah, something strange. Granny definitely won. Oh, grandson, I'm so glad. What are we going to cook this time? Pizza. Pizza? Something complicated. And how do I cook it? Probably need to knead the dough. Mmm, it worked. Or not really. Oh, uh, why is it so sticky? Well, well, I have an idea. Take my dough, dear. Thank you, Grandma. But what about you? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll need a new dough. All you need to do is mix a few ingredients. And I'll pour the finished dough into a hot frying pan. It'll turn out to be a wonderful pizza base. Then I'll pour ketchup and add healthy vegetables. And some cheese. While there, it remains only to wait. Yeah, who cooks pizza like that? Special corn flour is needed for the base. Only professionals like me know this. Then knead the dough. 
And now we need to form the bases. To do this, let's fly the dough. Wow. Oh! I want it that way too! Come on, fly! Oops, it fell. Well, now it's all dirty. How to fix it? I know, a little disguise won't hurt. A little ketchup. A little bit of olives next. Pepper. And sausages. And now you can fold everything. And of course, press it down. What a nightmare. I wish I hadn't seen it. Down with the vegetables. Tomato paste, pepperoni, and cheese. Nothing superfluous. And now I'll put the pizza in the microwave. Let it bake. It will turn out incredibly good. A microwave oven? The toaster will be enough. I would like to stuff it. Mm, yeah, it didn't turn out how I expected. And I did it perfectly. However, it couldn't be otherwise. Here's my pizza. Here is mine. And my masterpiece. Well, let's try. It seems that someone wanted to poison me. This is terrible. But this looks good. I'll try it. And it tastes pretty good. Wow! Mmm, this pizza is just perfect! And the most delicious one! Who else could have won if not me? Come on! I want pancakes! I'm a pancake master! Easy, I'll make the fire stronger! Great! And now carefully pour out the dough! It is very important to turn it over on time! I don't understand why you should make a lot of small pancakes if you could just make one big one. Besides, an ordinary pancake is boring. But with gummies, it's just great. Hmm. Oh, the gummies have melted. Yeah, who would have thought? Okay, I'll make another pancake. This time with M&M's. And another one? Well, multicolored sprinkles. And I'll pour maple syrup on the pancakes. And they're good. Well, we must not lag behind. I know. If you add Nutella to the dough, the dough will turn out to be chocolate. The main thing is to mix well. And I'll put a piece of chocolate in the center. Great. The chocolate is melting right in the center. Turn it over. Wait a little. Great. Berries to decorate pancakes. And now I'll pour strawberry syrup on top. Just wonderful. It looks perfect. Ready? Baked with love. The best pancakes in the world. You like mine the most. That's what we're going to find out. Hmm. Ugh. It's disgusting. And Granny's pancakes? Mmm. Delicious. So, so. What has the chef prepared? Mmm. Great. But Grandma won anyway. Hooray! Hmm. Let's start with a simple one. Cook me some french fries! Easy. It will be done. I just want to learn how to cook. While everyone is spilling potatoes, I'd better hit the butter. By the way, there is never much of it. Well, the butter is almost boiling, which means that it's time to pour out the ready-made slices of french fries. No! Stop! Ugh, it's splashing! God, help! What are you doing? Because of you, we were almost bombarded by boiling oil. The oil should be poured carefully. Then fry the potatoes evenly. Cut them. Nothing difficult. Okay. 
The french fries are ready. There's only a little sauce left to add. <sighs> fries? In my opinion, this is an ordinary fried potato. And I'll make real french fries. But that's not all. Now I'm going to make a real delicacy out of ordinary potatoes. I'll need bacon, some sauce, and of course, sweet rosemary. Mm, smells so good. Uh oh. Oh, I haven't lost everything yet. Why not use marmalade potato? They say if you dip it in strawberry syrup, it'll be even better. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll start trying with potatoes in the middle. Mmm, Grandma, this is very nice. Oh, ew! I can't stand rosemary. I'm sorry, Madame Chef, but I didn't like it. But I appreciate the idea of marmalade potatoes. Brother, you're doing great. Now I don't know who to choose. Let it be, grandmother. Hooray! This time this task is more difficult. You need to cook sushi. Come on! It'll be done. According to the best recipe. Sushi? Sushi? Yeah, I have no idea what sushi is in the countryside. What is that? I'm going to make sushi that you never dreamed of. What? Ordinary sushi is boring. Another thing is sushi made out of different candies. Instead of cream cheese, there will be delicious whipped cream inside. And of course, gummies. Perfect. We must not forget about the chocolate syrup. <laughs> An interesting idea. I will also have sushi ready very soon. The main thing is to repeat very carefully after the chef. Nothing complicated yet. Nothing complicated. So let's see what disgusting sushi you have. <sighs> I can add sauce too. You don't have to be super smart for that. What is that? Avocado? The most important thing is to twist everything perfectly, which you, Grandma, certainly won't succeed at. Ta-da! The perfect sushi is almost ready. What a horror! I didn't think your sushi was so ugly! Wow. It's time to wrap sushi in salmon. The main thing is to add a lot of fish cut into chunky pieces. And we must not forget about soy sauce. Hmm. Fish, you say? Okay. It will be done. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> I hope it turned out delicious. <gasps> wow. Oh no! The chef's sushi look more attractive. What? Bingo! I can't put this whore in front of my granddaughter, but I have an idea. Why not make cucumber sushi? It's both delicious and healthy. Oh, really? And disgusting. What is that? Cucumber is an ideal ingredient for sushi. You just need to put more rice into it. It doesn't look good. Wait a little, I'm not done. Adam, look what a beauty. What is this? What? I've never seen cucumber and rice sushi. They don't even have fish. I'm not tasting it. But I will try sweet sushi with pleasure. Hooray! Mmm! Delicious. But it's not satisfying at all. The last candidate is left. Wow. Here they are. Real sushi. Mmm. Mm, so good. Madame Chef, you have one. Thank you, but it was obvious. Oh, no! I hope each of you can make a waffle. I heard that you need to start with dough. I think I won't have any problems with it. Okay. We'll add some sugar. Yeah! Mix it up a little. 
Perfect. It's time to add flour. Wow. Oh, oh no. I think I got something in my nose. <laughs> Wow, here's a waffle. It's okay, this flour is enough for me to make delicious waffle. You just need to stir everything well. Let's do it. Okay, so now my finished dough can be poured into a waffle iron. These will be the most delicious waffles in my sister's life. Mmm, the dough turned out very tasty, and most importantly, without eggshells. I hope it will make a decent waffle. Aww. Everyone added sugar, but I know that sugar is harmful. So I'll add a whole ripe eggplant instead, and I'll make dough out of it. Let's do it. It will be absolutely perfect. Perfect. And now, we'll add some eggs. And of course, some flour. Let's mix it up well. And add some greens for the taste. It even sounds disgusting. But this dough is much better than yours. Mm, what? And now, you can pour it into a waffle iron. Just like that. And let's time it so we don't burn it. Yeah, timing is pretty good. Oh, it seems the waffle is a little burnt. Oh, no. oh, hot, hot! But that's okay. I will hide it. its not very pleasant appearance with whipped cream, some berries, and chocolate syrup. Just like that. It's awesome! And I will traditionally pour maple syrup on my waffles. A piece of butter will also not be extra. Oh, wow! It's so yummy! And I will decorate my already healthy waffles with healthy herbs. Hello! Let's try it! I'll start with this one. Oh, ew! Your waffle is kind of overcooked. I won't eat that. And this one? Ew! This waffle tastes like grass and eggplant. I hate it. Disgusting. And this one is pretty good. Oh, yes. That's just what I wanted. Grandma, you're winning this round. Hooray. Pop. I wonder what awaits our participants at the first challenge. Wow, is that lemonade? Looks like grandma can't wait to start cooking. She starts cutting the lemon into neat slices like this. We put them in a large glass, a little sugar. Wow, take it easy, grandma. What did these lemons do to you? Calm down, it's all right. Add carbonated water. Great, now we're on the way. Some ice and mint. Good job, Grandma. Now it's the chef's turn. Now I'll show you how to make real lemonade. By the way, according to my signature recipe, to begin with, thinly slice the cucumber, twist the slices, and throw them into a glass with ice. <laughs> what a fragrance. We add green tea to the glass, my favorite kind. Now we cut lime. We need to slice and lemonade and one slice as decoration. Decorate with cucumber and fresh mint. Oh. That's it. Perfect. Wow, how cool. Um, I got carried away with the soda. Wait a minute. And this is a good idea. Pour the soda into a glass. Oh yeah, berries are perfect. Add sugar. Some sweetener. Now we're whipping it all up. Add the resulting mass to our soda. Mixing it up. Berry syrup. Even sweeter, even better. Let's decorate the lemonade. That's it. Good job, Jane. Just look at this lemonade. I think Mary will definitely like it. Or will she like her grandma's recipe more? Or maybe the chef's exquisite lemonade? I want to find out as soon as possible. Let's try, Mary. First, she tries the chef's lemonade. 
What? It looks like Mary didn't appreciate the taste of the lemonade at all. Oh. Unbelievable. Let's well, go. we're going further. Grandma's lemonade. Not bad. Woo! Only sister's lemonade remains. Would Mary really like it the most? Wow. Well, we have a winner, yeah. And this is Jane. Congratulations on a well-deserved victory. <laughs> what? Wow, how many products? And what are we going to cook? Let's Fish? Go. Wow. <laughs> now let's see who's the most skilled in cooking the dish. Let's see, it looks like grandma decided not to waste time in vain. She immediately takes a piece of fish and puts it in the pan. Okay, let's try to repeat after grandma. Oh, what a smell. Okay, it looks like it will do. You can play my favorite game now. So it's time to turn the fish over. A little salt. No pepper. Lovely. Just lovely. Hmm. What? Yeah, it seems no one here knows how to cook fish. Well, never mind. Now I'll show you everything. To begin with, we need a little orange, some spices, and a little oil. That's it. We roll the fish in our miracle breading what? and frying it. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll need all this. Yeah, perfect. We throw it all in the mixer. A little orange juice for the taste. Now it's time to whip our sauce. Believe me, you have hardly tasted something so delicious. Meanwhile, our fish has fried properly. We put it on a plate. Now my favorite is serving. This is how we serve fish in my restaurant. Lime and our signature sauce. That's it! Finally some greenery! Perfect! Oh, girl, did you decide to start a fire? Oh, you need to be more careful, Jane. Look what happened to your piece of fish. But there's no time left at all. We'll have to serve fish like this. It doesn't look very good. To put my lean. What can be said about grandma's fish? Perfect. And finally, the chef's dish. Yeah, such a serving would be appreciated in any restaurant. Would Mary appreciate it? We'll find out. It seems she immediately put a dislike to Jane's dish. Now grandma's dish. Very tasty. Oh. But wait. You haven't tasted the fish from the chef yet. Ah. <laughs> oh, it seems the restaurant food is not to Mary's taste at all. Sorry, chef, but this time Mary's heart was conquered by her grandmother. How sweet. <laughs> it's time for the third round. Let's see. A cupcake? Mm, which of our participants is the most experienced baker? Grandma, of course, knows a lot about baking. She immediately starts cooking the dough. Look at this speed! Wow! Great! Grandma added all the necessary ingredients. It's time to whisk. Beat the dough properly. And of course, we're without cupcake molds. How beautiful they are! Carefully pour the dough into the molds. Like this. It remains only to put the cupcakes in the oven. Great! Great job, Grandma! Now we just have to wait. <laughs> and how's the chef's doing? It seems her dough is almost ready. Now she puts in the berries. Wow! Mix the berries together with the dough. How beautiful! What's next, chef? It's time to get the molds. We pour a beautiful red mass into a large cupcake mold. And sending it to the oven. Perfect! Wow, how cool! What do I have here? Uh, how boring it is to knead the dough. An idea! I recently saw a life hack. Here it is. That's just brilliant! Can I make a cupcake that easy? Wow! And it will turn out so cool! Yeah! Well, that's Woo! settled. Let's go! <laughs> now let's see how this life hack will work. Add cacao powder and a little chocolate syrup to the milk. Great, now we're whipping. The resulting mass is poured into a glass. The oven won't work for this recipe. We need to find something else. A microwave. Well, we put the glass in the microwave. Now we just have to wait. Oh, and grandma's cupcakes seem to be ready. What an appetizing crust. And the smell. Put the cupcakes on a plate. A little powdered sugar on top. And I think the chef's cupcake is ready too. We get this treat out of the oven. And of course, we're without branded serving from the chef. Oh, so much whipped cream. What could be better than a combination of berries and whipped cream? Now it's time for Jane's cupcakes. I hope they're so delicious. And what a smell. She should definitely appreciate it. I'm sure my granddaughter will make the right choice. My cupcakes are the best. <gasps> Where should I start? Okay. 
A cupcake and a mug? Weird, but let's try. Mmm, so-so. No. Okay, what else is there? Let's try these. Hmm, not bad. But I'm not thrilled. Wow! Wow, what a huge cupcake! <gasps> Can't wait to try it. How delicious! Yes, this is the winner! Oh. The chef's cupcake turned out to be the best. No critic can resist it. <gasps> There's so many products here. What are we cooking this time? Soup? Wow. And what is your favorite soup? Write in the comments and maybe in the next videos, our heroes will cook exactly your favorite dish. It looks like the chef has seriously taken up cooking soup. Look at how many different ingredients she has. Well, no soup can be made without water, right? Now a little cream and butter. That's it. Add some spices. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy, chef. It looks like the ingredients for the soup will never run out. Now there are also shrimps. Looks like Jean is having too much fun. Let's look at her. Hey, it's time for you to get serious about cooking. Grandma has already cut all the necessary vegetables. It looks like mushroom soup is waiting for us. Surely grandma collected these mushrooms herself. How cool. Add cream and stir. Super. What a great soup grandma has. Mm, however, I didn't remember anything. Okay. Then they sort of put no. this. No, um, maybe this? Not that, but not that. Oh, is this what you need? Cheese. We throw it there. Yeah, now we're on the way. Perfect, let's mix it. Yeah! It's not that hard to cook soup. Now let's throw some carrots. Great. Hmm. Whoa, what a cool thing. Let's go. Let's stir it. I think it's fine. The soup is just perfect. By the way, my exclusive recipe. What do you think, grandma? <laughs> what kind of amateurs? The last touch remains. Bola! Who soup will win <laughs> Mary's heart? Jane's turned out very well. And grandma's mushroom soup looks just wonderful. But the chef's exquisite soup looks no worse. Hmm. It's up to you, Mary. Okay. Well, let's start with this one. It smells strange. Ugh, are these mushrooms? I hate mushrooms! Next one. Mmm, something interesting. No. No, that's not it. Now the third oh. soup. That looks a complete mess. Let's try it. Whoa! This is the best soup I've ever had! Yes, it's the winner! Wow, Jane, congratulations! Yeah.